Hello. Thought I'd have a quick uh, chat with you. Talk about the number one reason that I believe women, clever women, intelligent women, are frustrated with their weight loss or lack of it. And my top three tips of how to deal with it. So the number one reason is that none of us need to be told about exercise more, eat better and less. So everybody knows that, but then they wonder then, why can I do everything in my life, but I can't nail this? And the reason why it's not because of the food or the alcohol, or that you, you're not clever enough to get it, but it's your emotions. So that's the number one reason. It's not acknowledging that it's your emotions that are driving you. So now I'm gonna share the top three things that frustrated, clever women need to do. Ugh. Number one is to plan and structure meals. I'm making sure that you're not going for particularly long periods of time without eating, not restricting too much, but you've got clarity on what you're gonna have with your food, what you're gonna eat, when you're gonna eat it, and base that around your lifestyle. Because going for too long in the day of being rigid, dieting, uh, cutting out too much, it's just gonna lead to deprivation, physically and mentally, and then that's gonna trigger a binge eating episode. Number two, is to acknowledge your emotions and the negative state that happens before these kind of stress eating, emotional eating, binge eating. So feeling lonely, sad, bored, tired, fed up, all of those things. The last part is to get support, to have somebody that can guide you, advise you, give you the best advice that is there when you need them because it's hard when you're on your own. Um, when you're with a group of women, it's quite nice knowing that others go through it as well, not because you want them to, but it helps you to you know, get a bit of confidence that you're not the only one experiencing this and you can all be in it together or get a coach like myself. Now, I'm a massive believer in coaching. Not only do I do it, but I have coaches because I believe in them. Uh, you know, a coach can teach me things I don't know, help me to do things better, be more successful with stuff um, and that's exactly what a nutrition coach lifestyle coach um, someone like myself can do for you then to be too scared to you know reach out or think in your mind oh I'm so so stupid I'm too embarrassed to ask because a coach can help you relieve those frustrations and get the results you want